I'm going to give you four principles that you can apply in your daily life. Number one, question your own history and perspectives. Humans are great. And what happens is that we love our own little world and sure, our families and our community. But these are bubbles in a way. You know, we live in a solipsistic society. We certainly felt that in the pandemic, right? But if we break out of those bubbles, go beyond the boundaries and start to realize how the world is going to change and the biases and the empathy that's needed and the challenges and really understand and speak to the people in the places where we're working, that is going to be a catalyst for change. Secondly, be wildly creative and collaborate. You can have great ideas on your own. You can have greater ideas together. And not just in your offices and not just in your teams, but with the people in the offices around the world and other people out in society and the governments and other organizations and the places that we live. And never be scared of sharing an idea that you think might be pushing the limits. That's how change happens. Change happens when we feel uncomfortable and we're pushing people further than ever before. I like to say that I'm hired for the things I used to get fired for. Right? People are uncomfortable. And don't let anyone tell you. Let's not speak about that. Maybe there's a time and a place. Never let go of a great idea, no matter how strange or creatively uh, provocative it is. Thirdly, Look for pockets of future in the present. Academic journals, as we walk down the street, when you, when you actually look on the news, the podcasts you listen to, the startups that are claiming that they're going to change the world and be the future. All of these things are important reference points. They're signals. Those signals will indicate to us that something will change. And do you know what? Sometimes those signals will indicate something can change today. We can try something new. I think most importantly, I've already stressed this. Shift your mindset from what is to what if. Yes, take care of the work you need to do on a daily basis. Do step up. That work that you're doing is important. But do not forget to wake up and challenge what you're doing to look up and wonder what if. What if can't be killed. So ask in your meetings and ask in your product, projects and ask with your clients, you know, what if the world does change and what are you going to do and how are you going to act and how are we going to provide something that's structurally resilient for humanity? We share something very important, the energy. That core energy is hope. And I wish you luck on the next stage of your journey. Today is incredibly exciting. My name is Nicholas Babington. It's been fantastic being here. I'll speak to you again. Thank you so much.